using the if else statements. Okay. I'll go ahead and delete all this. And I'm doing this purely just for comparison's sake, just so you uh, see how it works. Um, what this, uh, what all these if statements are doing, is um, it's checking the value. Each one checks the value of day to to see if the value of day matches. And uh, if it does, then it will return true and print out its. Um, its day that it has set to it, set to print out. So day is equal to three. So it'll go through these if statements. Uh, is day equal to one? No. So nothing will happen. Is day equal to two? No. So nothing will happen. Is day equal to three? Yes. So this Boolean expression will return true. And this if statement will start to execute. And uh, it'll print out the code between its block and um, call system dot out dot print line and print Tuesday and I'll demonstrate that here I know you I already explained how if else statements work but again I just wanted to um, show the comparison between that and uh, a switch statement you saw with a switch statement I was able to directly compare the value by saying case 1 or case 2 or case 3. You see how an if statement works here where I have to have a boolean expression that returns true. So I have to check if day is equal to um, a certain value. And um, this bottom one here is equivalent to the default um, case statement because um, if day is greater this, than 7 or day is less than 1 then it's going to well, let's change this message here if you put 20 in there it's definitely not going to be Sunday so um, we'll put 20 here and not a day of the week. So it checks if day is greater than 7 which is true or day is less than 1 which is false but since this, this is an or it doesn't matter if one of the boolean expressions is false just as long as one of them is true. And uh, since this one here is true then it prints out not a day of the week. And uh, that's just the comparison between a switch statement and uh, an if statement. Okay. So now we'll go back a bit here. A little too far. All right.
right, now I'm going to show you how you can use this with uh, char variables. and we're going to be checking the letter variable and uh, as you can see here it's fairly similar to using an int it's just whatever value here um, whatever value is stored in letter is going to be checked it's going to check is it case A is it case B is it case C yes it is so it's going to print out Tuesday and break out of the switch statement and continue on with the rest of the program. So I'll run that and it's Tuesday and um, you see that's pretty much how that works. Let's uh, try T and it's not a day of the week because I picked T here which is not one of the cases so it automatically goes to default and says not a day of the week and uh, that's pretty much how that works forgot to put my break statement here and uh, that's pretty much it with um, switch statements and um, as you can see you can see how something like this could be useful um, but uh, like I said it depends you could use um, if else statements as well to achieve the same functionality it's just something like this might be more practical in a, a certain situation and uh, I hope you enjoyed the movie and that's about it. Thank you.